Hi everyone, I Sachin Bhatia, the chief storyteller from Metro Mobility Stories. I'm glad to bring you the summary of the GNSS tolling workshop held on the 25th of June 2024. The workshop focused on GNSS technology and its integration into the NETC program. GNSS which stands for Global Navigation Satellite System is a constellation of satellites providing location and timing information used in everyday navigation apps. Phase 1 of the GNSS project aims to revolutionize tolling for approximately 4.5 million commercial vehicles. These vehicles have compliant OBUs as per AIS 140 installed and including public service vehicles, vehicles with national permits and hazardous vehicles. Map making involves creating detailed highway maps including medians and shoulders while map matching connects OBU data to toll charges using AI to calculate the most probable path. Accuracy requirements for map making do not require 99.9% accuracy while map matching demands it. Map sources can include maps from Google Maps, Map My India, Hair Maps and more. The OBU collects data every 5 seconds and transmits it every 60 seconds. A layered architecture allows the OBU to dump data to the regional servers which then send the relevant data to the toll charger servers using software based security protocols. Future plans include the development of a thin OBU with map data stored in the server. The phase 1 will serve as a trial for the remaining 70 million vehicles over the next 2 years. During the workshop key speakers highlighted the insights and plans for the future of toll collection in India. Mr. Amit Ranjan Chitranji, CEO of IHMCL, highlighted the roles and responsibilities of an issuer entity in GNSS tolling, focusing on customer service, managing onboard units and payment instrument and data security. Mr. Sai Prasad from TCS emphasized the core components of the GNSS including the ground truthing, reliable communication networks, scalability for massive data handling and robust security to protect the systems from cyber threats mr jaswinder from google cloud advocates leveraging existing map api to streamline gnss development suggested that various specialized apis could be used to a more modular and cost effective system design mr pavan teja of autoshore ai described the application of ai in differentiating between elevated roads and service roads to ensure accurate toll charges emphasizing the importance of high quality data and adherence to sls mr pradeep royal from bpcl proposed a combined payment system through gnss tolling for tolls fuel and other highway services he highlighted bpcl's existing technology and digital payment solutions that could support this integrated approach Returning to the stage Mr Amit Ranjan Chitranji detailed the roles and responsibilities of an issuer entity in GNSS tolling focusing on customer service and the management of onboard units and payment instruments he further clarified that an issuer entity could be responsible for onboarding and managing obus ensuring that they are correctly installed and functioning Mr Chitranji emphasized the importance of customer service highlighting the issuer entity must handle customer queues and grievances efficiently he discussed the need for robust data management systems to track and monitor toll transactions ensuring accuracy and transparency additionally chitranchi elaborated on the integration of the payment systems explaining how various payment methods could be linked to the obu to facilitate the seamless toll payments he stressed the importance of partnerships with technology providers to enable the functionality of obus and ensure the compatibility with gnss tolling system furthermore chitranchi ji explained the role of the issuer entity in maintaining data security and privacy ensuring all user data is protected and used for legitimate purposes he concluded by outlining the road map for the issuer entities including potential innovations and improvements of gnss tolling system to ensure user experience and uh, operational functionality mr akhilesh shivas the president of its india forum emphasized the importance of frictionless flow for users toll incentives to drive adoption effective enforcement for compliance he warned against the topping of gnss models from other countries due to india's unique scale and challenges Mr Manish Saini from Strabag explained operation of open barrier tolling which uses NPR cameras to manage traffic flows providing a seamless tolling experience Mr Shankar Narayanan who is from IRB spoke about the necessity of infrastructure upgrades user incentives addressing concessional concerns to ensure the adoption of GNSS Professor Geetam Tiwari from IIT stressed the need for a clear signage, proper road marking, and defined system performance parameters to control GNSS violations effectively. She elaborated on the critical role of clear and consistent signage to guide drivers 
which reduced confusion and enhanced compliance. Proper road markings, she noted, are essential for delineating lanes and smooth traffic flow, especially in high density areas. Tewari also emphasized the need for well defined system performance parameters, which would serve as a benchmark for evaluating efficiency and effectiveness of GNSS tolling system. She highlighted that regular audits and performance reviews should be conducted to ensure these parameters are met and to identify areas for improvement. Tiwari also emphasized the importance of public awareness campaigns to educate drivers about the new tolling system, its benefits and how to comply with it, which would facilitate a smoother transition and a higher acceptance rate amongst the public. Next was Chairman of NHI, Mr. Santosh Kumar Yadav. He highlighted the success of NHI's Toll Plaza System NETC program with over 1,500 operational toll plazas and a daily revenue in excess of 194 crores per day. Rash Tati from I Triangle, who is part of the Apex Committee on the OBU, expressed his excitement about India's digital disruption and the potential of the GNSS-based satellite initiative. He also emphasized the importance of the industry collaboration and robust OBU devices for its success. Tati also called for a centralized agency to ensure the common protocol for AIS 140 and GNSS based tolling, streamlining the entire ecosystem. Dr. Zafar Khan, the joint CEO of Highway Infrastructure Trust and from the leadership team of uh, Highway Operators Association, highlighted uh, First of all, uh, uh, FastTag has given a lot of learning to us. And in, when we started FastTag, I remember the earlier discussion with the uh, uh, Shivastoji, a lot of foreign consultants used to come and tell, no, no, it is not possible in India, it will not happen. And we always used to say that if India it is possible, it is everywhere it is possible. And we will always surprise the world either by negative or positive. But most of the time we always positive. And when we reach 97%, even in developed countries are not reached there. So I think there's a very good use case available, a lot of learnings are available, whether we talk about uh, exit uh, arrangement, whether we talk about uh, getting a standardization of equipments for uh, fast tag, now we will have some more equipments, standardization requirement for GNSS, which we'll do. So only one thing which is exciting is that for a user perspective, well, now user will have two options available and uh, they can choose either of it. So a lot of people who are not using full length of the road will have okay. better uh, uh, rates. For concessionaire, a lot of leakages in between the plaza, they will be able to capture that because if there are a lot of traffic which is not reaching to the toll, that can be uh, helped to increase the revenue. So I think exciting time, though it is a little bit long time to develop the map and system, etc which means automatically if I have to develop the whole network and map in next two years time before we go and implement this, there will be a lot of technologies will be catching up very, very fast like CV2, which will be catching up very, very fast. So probably today what we are talking may not be 100 but exactly at the time of implementation because a lot of technology is there. Uh, we have already implemented this free flow system like in Bhopal Devas is one of our road where we have impl implemented and uh, your barrier is always open. Whenever a blacklisted vehicle or a non fast tag vehicle comes, then only it is stopped. So it is already there. Now with GPS, uh, we will further augment it, improve it. And exciting time and I'm, I'm sure a lot of, since we represent uh, asset management companies and in future we see that road will be competing with each other. And probably we will use this facility to provide add-on services to road users. And with that I will have better qualities, better services on my road, which will help me to get me more revenue for that reason. Finally, our High Energy Minister, Mr. Nitin Gadkari, the Honourable Minister of Road Transport and Highways, Government of India, concluded the session by outlining the government's commitment to implement a transparent and efficient tolling system. He emphasized the importance of a corruption-free system with high technical and financial qualifications and the integration of the GNSS-based tolling to create a seamless tolling process. Dr. Ji elaborated on the vision of the state-of-the-art toll collection system that leverages cutting-edge technology to enhance transparency and efficiency. 
He highlighted the steps being taken to ensure that the system is free from corruption, including rigorous technical and financial qualifications for all stakeholders involved. Dr. Ji emphasized the integration of GNSS-based tolling as a pivotal element in achieving a seamless toll collection process, reducing congestions, and improving the overall user experience. He mentioned the collaborative efforts with various stakeholders, including technology providers, banks, government agencies, to ensure the successful implementation of the system. Dr. Ji concluded by expressing confidence in the project's potential to transform India's transport infrastructure and set a global example, pave the way for similar initiatives in many developing countries.